there, it's your bud Stalkaz here. So a lot of you, especially if you're new to the fandom, are asking, okay, now I'm a furry, now what? Well, you've come to the right place, because I'm going to tell you. Before we continue, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Because, hey, why not? There's a lot of different things you can do as a furry. And here's just a, a basic overview of what you can do as a furry. So the first step, actually, is to create a persona. A persona is your character. It's who you are as a, as a furry. So the first step is to create a species. Now you can choose a commonly known species, such as a, a wolf, a fox, a horse, a dragon, you know, any sort of species whatsoever. Or you can create a hybrid, which is a combination of animals put together, such as a folk, which is like a fox and a wolf hybrid, or a wagon, for instance, which is a wolf dragon. The, the possibilities are limitless. A third option is to create is to have an original species, such as circles, Dutch angel dragons, mannequins, protogens. These are all species created within the fandom. However, they're open species, meaning that they're free to use. So, once you create your persona, the next step is to give it a name. It could be either your human name or something entirely made up. And as usual, the choices are limitless. Also, you want to create personality traits for your persona. Do they reflect you as a human or are they completely different? It's entirely up to you. Once you have all those things nailed down, the next step is to have a ref sheet. A ref sheet is a drawing of your persona and it's the best thing to use not only just to introduce everyone to your persona but if you want to commission art for your persona or eventually get a fursuit a ref sheet is absolutely required now on the ref sheet you want to have a drawing of the front of your persona the side and the back and as some extra options you could also have your name on it and your traits as well there are two ways of getting a ref sheet. You can either design one yourself if you're artistically inclined, or you can commission one. I opted for the, the latter of the two. All right, once your ref sheet is done, another option is to have a fursuit. Ta-da! Now this is totally optional and the fursuits are absolutely not required in order to be a furry. In fact, most furries don't even own a fursuit. However, if you like to get a fursuit and you have the money to, the sky's the limit and they are awesome! To get a fursuit, there are two options. You either make one yourself, if you are <laughs> inclined to do so, or you can offer the second option, which is what I did, is commission one. And if you commission one, you absolutely need to have a ref sheet and make sure you save up your pennies. So, once you have your persona and your ref sheet, what next? There are, different, there are many different ways of involvement. For instance, if you're artistically inclined, you can draw furries and personas, which is what I started doing, and I do it as strictly as a hobby. And I just do it out of fun, I just do it out of enjoyment, and just to improve my art skills. And a lot of times, either just draw for yourself, or if you so choose, you could do a gift art, which is basically just draw like a, an art for a friend or someone that you like and just give it to them as a gift, as the name suggests. Another option is doing an art trade, where you draw an art piece for someone and then they in turn draw an art piece for you and then you exchange. You could go ahead and opt to do commissions, which is when someone pays you to do a drawing for them. Another way of participating is content creation. And again, that's what I do as well. You can either make videos, for instance, like on YouTube or TikTok, or you can do like live streams, like play video games and stream on Twitch. I mean, there's just so many different possibilities. And within, within the content creation community alone, it's not just strictly for video games. Like for instance, as you, if you watch plenty of my videos, you see there's a wide variety from uh, fursuiting, uh, the whole fur the furry fandom in general, uh, comedy, sketches, skits, <laughs> showing off your art, 
play the instrument. <laughs> There's just so many different options. And then finally, there are furry conventions. Now, of course, right now, there aren't any currently underway, except virtually. But once things, once things get back to normal, that's a great way of meeting new people and making friends and just introducing the world to your persona. With the furry fandom, there's no right or wrong way of being a furry. It's just, it's all what you make of it. So it's just a part of who you are. It's your identity. It's, it's a hobby, it's an interest. And for a lot of people, it's a passion. It's all, it's just what you make of it. So the ultimate answer, I'm a furry, now what? The answer is whatever you want. I hope you guys found this video informative. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. This is Stalkaz. See ya.